Welcome everyone to the second part of create live connections and extract. The first five part we have already covered one, two, and three. And in the second part, we will talk about save metadata properties on a in a dot TDS, create a data source that uses multiple connection. And after that, we will have quiz. Quiz will, with, with, will be with respect to the overall topics that we have covered. So if you are coming here for the first time, so if you have not seen the first video, I would recommend you to go and first watch the first video because that will help you to do the quiz properly over here. So who am I? So let's jump over to the second part. That means save metadata properties in a dot TDS, create a data source that uses multiple connections. So dot TDS is a data source type file for Tableau and will with the help of our demo, you will be able to understand it even more. So in the last video, we have already seen that how we can connect to our data source. Uh, what are the different options live or extract and when should we go for extract or when we should go for live connections so once you have set the connection how to save those connections right so we have the connection with us and with this icon you can see that it it is of type extract and if you see that one that is live extract will always show two cylinders and there is an arrow over there that shows that okay i'm extracting data from the live data source to the local subset or local copy right and later you can publish that to tableau server as well so you know you have already created this extract and this extract is having dimensions and measures then how do i play with the metadata and what is a metadata metadata is nothing but another it's data about data so you have data over there you have ordered it it will have its own certain properties properties as if the default data type the format the data type like this is a geographical data type this is uh, of type number this is of type string like so these are the property this is data about data you have the fields but the fields will also have certain properties and how we can change those properties and how we can save that to this tds file the data source file so let us try to make certain changes over there for example you have region you have uh, quantity some of quantity over there right maybe i want because every time you drag any measure over there by default it will take some maybe i want to change this default property to something else maybe say average so maybe i'll go to quantity i'll go and there is something called default properties and you can change the aggregation to say average right and now if i drag the sum of quality quantity sorry and you can say it has turned to average so now whenever you will drag quantity it will show average because by default you have changed the metadata property over there not only that you can uh, change other things as well for example if i just drag sales over there and i'm interested to see sales at the label and in the form of for example it not right now it is showing rupees maybe it make, makes more sense to have dollar because we have america over there not india so what we can do is we can go to sales and again default properties number format and currency and instead of india maybe i will search for united states and say okay and boom it has changed to dollar over there now Apart from that, always you can uh, change, you can rename, right? Maybe if you are having central type of data set over there, so maybe I have central, I have a uh, sales central, you can turn region to something else as well. In case you are dealing with central region, you can say region central, means your overall data set, maybe not in this case, maybe not in this case because you have central east south and west so maybe not in this case so maybe i can just rename it back to region region of united states so it, it's up to you you can change name at any point of time directly you can also do the same thing from the data source I 
can name it this as category target and that's it and this is how you can make changes at metadata metadata which is data about data now you have made certain changes over there how to preserve these changes so that next time when i open the the extract by default i should be able to see my currency in dollars uh, the aggregation at average level and that's it right so definitely i need to save it so by default it will take you under my tablet repository under data sources so you can change it over there remember the extension as .tds there is also an extension called .tdsx the difference between .tds and tdsx is .tdsx will have the zip file I mean, it's sort of a zip file where you'll have the local embedded copy of the data source as well right not with the case of .tds file so .tds file is more or less with respect to the location of that file whereas in this case you will have uh, like a zip folder where you have the uh... so basically in simple words tdsx will have data along with the metadata data along with the metadata in, in in case of tdsx but in the case of dot tds it's more of like the location of this file not the data you have metadata but not the data so if you are sharing a dot tds file with your colleague he or she must have the file with her in her local system so it will ask for the location then he or she should connect to that very particular file or say to data source but in the case of dot tdsx file since it's a zip file which will have data plus metadata they will be able to connect to that without moving to a certain location so that's the advantage of having dot tdsx file so let me save it there under this folder here you go not only that i can also publish this to server i can connect to tableau online so now if you see i i can publish it right it is asking me to publish so for example if i publish that now you will see the change in the icon over there just see that can you see over there now this is a published data source now all my team members having the access to my project they can easily connect to this data source no need to send those files to them and that's the advantage of having published data source there are many advantages but i just wanted to show you over there so how my colleague will come they'll come to data so data and uh, data new data source and they will go to tableau server and from there they can get this one that way they can connect now the last but not the least create data source that uses multiple connection in order to do this let me uh, open a new file so that i can show you from the scratch so i connect to data microsoft excel and this is my connection number 1 sample super store okay that's cool now you can add multiple connections over there i can add maybe say pdf file micro mysql oracle or that that's what the multiple connections mean over there so maybe in my case i will connect to a different file over there because i have sample super store so there i have one more file which is having sales target Now that's cool. Okay, let me set a field. I am trying to relate both the tables with respect to this field. Remember, I am doing relationship. And if you want to know more about relationship, watch my the second part, the 1.2 section of this series. That will be at the YouTube description as well. now that's where i've got the multiple connection and each connection will have one color blue and orange over there and i have multiple connection under this very particular data source over there right now this is live that's why you see that icon over there 
so i think we have covered everything and uh, uh, now this is the quiz time it's beneficial to minimize the number of data sources and columns selected for extract yes it is beneficial because that will help you to gain performance and we talked about this in our last video or the first part of this video series so that's true extract advantages pick the wrong one supports large data set help improve performance support additional functionality like count d provide online or live access so extract will not provide you access to online or say live data access it's all about offline or it's all about scheduled refreshed status not not live for sure what is the extension for of an extract file it can be either a or b depending upon the version if you are having 10.4 or before you still have dot tde elsewhere else you will have dot hyper if you are 10.5 or above pick the false statement you cannot publish tds x2 server a tds file tells tableau how to use the data once it is pulled into tableau a tds file will include the path file path to find where the data is located locally a tds x file will create a zipped file which includes an extract of the data along with the metadata on how that data should be displayed in tableau the correct answer is we cannot publish means we can publish and i, I just showed you how you can publish you can publish tds x or tds file both file you can publish to the server so i think this uh, session was useful for you with the quiz questions as well and i hope you cracked all the quiz questions over there so this is ritesh signing off from dancing with data kyunki data hi data hai kadam ko sab kuch aata hai <laughs>